Hey, God bless you today, my beautiful people. I'm so excited for you. Welcome to day 46 of this amazing course. We are like halfway through the week. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is doing in your life. You know, week number seven. God is great and God is worthy to be praised. God, I'm going to exalt you, God. Remember, your praise confuses the enemy. Create an atmosphere of praise in your home. Create an atmosphere of worship. Hallelujah. When I get done making these videos, I am going to worship my God. You better believe it. I am going to worship God. Hallelujah. So let me tell you something. Let's be passionate about the things of God. Hallelujah. This emotion is a powerful, compelling emotion, a feeling of love. Hallelujah. Of hate. Let's love what God loves and hate the things that God hates. The purpose, one of the purpose of this school is to push you closer to God. Hallelujah. Some of y'all felt dry spiritually. Some of y'all didn't even know your calling and your purpose, but I believe and I'm praying over this course and I feel it in the blood of Jesus Christ that it's going to be a new awakening, a new arousal in you for the things of God. Hallelujah. And you're going to begin to go out. You're going to begin to go out and you're going to begin, hallelujah, just to begin to love, oh God, the things that God loves and begin to hate the things that God hates. Come on, somebody. You're, you're, you're going to put away your fleshly desires and seek after God more. That is my desire for this course. That is my passion for the school. Hallelujah. So we're not going to long. We're, we're, we're no longer going to be friends of the world because the word tells us if we're a friend of the world, we become an enemy unto God. If we are friends of the world. We become an enemy to God. Hallelujah. We're, we're not going to be lukewarm anymore. We're not going to have one foot over here, one foot over there. No, 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 no. We're going to be zealous. We're going to be hot. Hallelujah. For the things of God. My God. Hallelujah. So, the next emotion is pathetic. Pathetic. And it's invoking pity, sympathetic, sadness, sorrow. Hallelujah. It also means to be pitiful. Hallelujah. You know, let me tell you something. You're not pitiful. You are anointed. You are appointed for something. You are qualified because you have God's favor in your life. And even if you don't, we're speaking it into you. You're not pitiful. Yeah, people may reject you. They may make you feel like you don't have no self worth or any value. But let me tell you something. God uses the foolish things to confound the wise, somebody. God chose Moses, a man who couldn't even um, speak. He stuttered. He chose him. He raised him up as a deliverer. Hallelujah. I, I'm not a good speaker. I stutter all the time. I can't pronounce every word. I don't even like public speaking. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost who who has given me strength to do this. My God, who has backed me up with his anointing to do this. Amen. There's something valuable in you that God can use. God don't care about your education. He don't care about your degrees. He don't care how pretty you look. He don't care how hallelujah, how handsome you may be. He don't care about none of that. All God is wanting is the willing vessel. He's looking for a willing vessel. The word tells us that the eyes of the Lord search to and fro. Looking upon earth. For someone whose heart is loyal to him. As long as you got a pure heart. It doesn't matter how muscular you are. Come on now. How, how strong you are. God is saying, he, he's looking for somebody to say, here, send me, Lord. Use me, God. That's what God is looking for. Do you remember when Samuel, he went to go, he went to Jesse's house. And the Lord sent him on a, an assignment. He went to Jesse's house. He, he had a he had a ram's horn. He had this is a shofar or a ram's horn. And he put some oil in it. The 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 the, the anointing knew. So he poured some oil in it, and he uh, was putting over each uh, Jesse's son head. And he's like, surely it's him. He was looking at the outward appearance. But God said no. God spoke, and God said, ha! Don't look at the outward appearance. Look at the heart. I look at the heart, says God. I look at the heart. So he anointed it. And he's like, man, it's not him. He, he sure built enough. He sure looked nice. Mm -mm. So then, after he went through all, all the sons except for one, he turned to Jesse, like, do you have another son? He's like, yeah. But then Jesse was like, ah, you know, he just a shepherd's boy. He's out in the field. Well, go get him, said Samuel. So he ended up bringing David in the house. 
North East. And the ram horn, you know, the shofar, you know, whatever, the oil came, the oil dripped on David. Because the anointing knew. The anointing knew that was supernatural. That was so supernatural. So, let me tell you something. People may have expected you, maybe you feel like nothing. But God wants you to know today. When you pray about your thoughts, about your remembrance in his hand, you are special to him. You are special to him. If you just cry out to God, you say, God, I'm sorry. I'm hurting inside. People may have rejected me. People may have looked over me. But God, I choose to believe that you love me. And despite everything I went through, God, I choose to believe you have a great plan for my life. You are not pathetic in Jesus' name. Receive that word. And I break any self-pity, uh, self-rejection off you now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You better receive that word. The next word we're going to be talking about is peaceful. I love God. I love his peace. I don't care what I go through. I went through hell. I went through a lot of things in my life. But I just thank God that through it all, he is with me even when i wanted to get discouraged i don't stay there long you know if i get in my emotions i have to check myself sometimes the holy spirit checks me like why are you doubting me you know you know god is with me hello god is with you too you don't have to let anything through your door your peace you even have a moment you better not dwell there for long you better get up out of those feelings amen in jesus name so god i thank you and you know what another thing you need to do Catch this strategy. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because God promises in his word that he will prosper thee. Amen. We love thee. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. All right. Catch that. All right. The next one is perturbation. Perturbation. And it means to disturb. Disturb or disquiet greatly in mind or agitate. You know, we all face troubles in life, but, you know, we do not. I have to let the situation flood to our peace. You know, come on now. Jesus says, talk. In this world, you will have troubles and tribulations, but take heart. I have overcome the world. He has overcome the world. Come on. And he'll give you peace. He leaves us peace, not as the world gives, but his peace is the peace that surpasses all understanding. All right? Uh, and tell me, the enemy will love to come and have this, this doubt, God, because he wants you to miss your blessing. He wants you to miss your miracle. Come on now, we're not going to miss it. I decree it over life. You're not going to miss it in Jesus' name. All right. So y'all be blessed today. Y'all be expecting God. God, I thank you, Lord God, just for this class, Lord God, to change our lives, Lord God, forever, God. I thank you, Lord God, just for peace that surpasses all understanding, God. God, I thank you, Lord God, that you're doing great things, God, that you're preparing great things for us, God. You said in your word, no, I have seen, neither has... Uh, no ear heard, Lord God, neither has it entered to the heart of man the things, God, that you have prepared for us, Lord, that love you, God, and we love you, God. God, we love you because you first love us, God. God, we love you, God. We thank you that you are, who Jehovah, ha, huh? almighty, come on now. Who God, you're strong, God. You are the Lord of war, God. You fight all our battles, God. You tell us in your word to be still, and God will fight for us, to hold our peace, God. You will fight for us. God, I thank you, God, no matter, God, what we're going through, God, that you're fighting all of our battles, in Jesus' name. Receive that word, and God, we thank you for it. We got victory, in Jesus' name, amen. Now,